How do you analyze your performance, especially in the second innings? Yeah, definitely a disappointing day for us. Um, I think we had a good total, uh, but uh, I think we leaked too many runs too early. Uh, they, we knew they were going to come with a positive intent and they will put, uh, try to put pressure on, play shots and put pressure on us. But it was just about holding our nerves and balling to the right areas. I think we didn't ball to the right area, especially early on in the inning. We were either too full or too short. We didn't stick to our lens. And uh, that's where I think uh, we released the pressure up top too early, actually, in the, in the first part. How important was that top cap of the channel? Definitely, that could have been the match turning inning because at that time they still needed a lot of runs and it was. We knew it would not be uh, easy for the new guy to come in and continue with the pace of the of the uh, run required run rate. Uh, so yeah, if that catch uh, had been taken, the results could, could have been different for us. There was another decision from the umpire that made you disappointed. How do you see uh, a few decisions not going your way? Yeah, I guess I, I think it's just disappointed, but that's how cricket goes sometimes. If it was one, it would have been okay, but like two or three is kind of like hard, uh, honestly. Uh, starting with the batting, you had a good uh, place in the uh, You did have gone for 300 or more. Uh, what do you think went wrong in the first inning? Yeah, I think um, AJ run out was uh, still quite close, but uh, I think that was. Uh, that was sort of like a turning point for us as well. He was looking really good and I think he would have continued and made a big runs because usually when he scores 50, 60 runs, he scores big for us. Um, and then, uh, but I believe, yes, uh, one of the top orders who scored runs, they should have like carried on and continued. Uh, if one of them could have, could have scored a century, uh, we could have uh, scored around 3, 5, 10, 350. In both the matches, uh, we would have won the match. How it, hard it is to control the emotions that you so close to so far. Definitely, I think uh, obviously uh, losing is always uh, you know frustrating and disappointing. But uh, again, we uh, we're coming into the ODI circle after a very long time. We, we, we were playing less competitive cricket before that, uh, but we know we are very talented side. So the more competitive games we play, the more kind of these pressure games that we play, the better we're gonna get. You know, like yes, we could not cross uh, the line, but it's a it's an opportunity for us to reflect and learn from. So I believe, yes, it is disappointing, but I believe, like, I think we will come back strong and we'll become a more mature team the more these kind of games we play. You said you were excited to play in front of this crowd looking at everyone. How does it feel to be in the ground zero? Uh, I think, uh, like, I've never experienced this kind of crowd in my whole cricketing life. I've been playing for a very long time. So it's always exciting as cricketers. You want to see full pack crowd. So it's re like we're really, really, really happy that we are in Nepal and we're playing. We get to, we're getting to play in front of the pack crowd. Uh, as victors, you cannot ask for anything more. So, really happy that uh, with the turnout of the crowd. Two matches down, one still to go. Uh, how do you see the squad? No changes in the final game. Uh, we may make one or two change, but we don't want to change too many uh, from uh, from the squad. We still want to finish well. Still want to give uh, uh, enough practice to the guys to to play the practice their roles that the team requires from them. So we will still try to stick with mostly the same guys and try to win the game. How far he is playing in this game? Kaleem Sana. Kaleem, um, he has a shoulder injury. He got a PRP injection done. So I think he still needs uh, probably 4 or 5 days. I don't think he will be able to play the next game. So I think uh, he may need another 4 to 5 days to recover and then start bowling again.